This is a gear reduction position change video for the General Pump model MKS. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are an impact wrench, a 6mm hex, an 8mm hex, thread lubricant, three 4 inch 8mm threaded bolts, a 17mm socket, a puller tool, an M14 threaded bolt, a slide hammer, protective gloves, a 10 millimeter hex, a magnetized tool, a hard rubber hammer, two 12 millimeter positioning pins, an M12 hex, a torque wrench, and a punch. Use an impact wrench with a six millimeter hex to remove the three bolts from the outer pinion cover. Remove the cover, and the gasket. Use an impact wrench with a 10 millimeter hex to remove the eight bolts from the outer gear reduction cover. Apply thread lubricant to three eight millimeter threaded bolts and thread them into the outer gear reduction cover. Use an impact wrench with a 13 millimeter socket and alternate tightening the bolts to evenly lift the outer gear reduction housing. Remove the housing and the gasket. Use an impact wrench with a 17 millimeter socket to remove the two bolts from the ring gear cover. Remove the cover. Apply a puller tool onto the ring gear. Tighten the screws using a six millimeter hex. Use the M14 threaded bolt on a slide hammer and thread it into the pinion. Use an impact wrench with a 17 millimeter socket on the puller tool along with a slide hammer with an M14 threaded bolt and carefully alternate loosening the gear and the pinion. When the pinion is released, remove the pinion and using protective gloves because of the sharp edges, remove the gear. Use an impact wrench with an 8mm hex to remove the 8 inner gear reduction cover retaining bolt. To avoid the washers falling into the pump and creating additional work, use a magnetized tool to remove the washers. Use a hard rubber hammer to tap underneath the inner gear reduction cover to unseat the cover. Remove the inner gear reduction cover and wipe away any residue. Insert two 12 millimeter positioning pins into the proper mounting holes. Apply a new gasket. and put the inner gear reduction housing back into place. Thread six of the bolts into the inner gear reduction housing and use a ratchet with a 10 millimeter hex to tighten. Remove the two positioning pins Thread the remaining two bolts. Use a ratchet with a 10 millimeter hex to tighten the bolts. Use a torque wrench with a 10 millimeter hex and tighten to the proper specs. Again, due to the very sharp edges, 
Use protective gloves to install the ring gear. And the pinion together. Assure the bearing race is introduced straight and level into the opening of the cover. If necessary, place a punch on the pinion and hammer to properly position the pinion. Use an M14 threaded bolt on the slide hammer and hammer the pinion fully into place. Remove the slide hammer. Install the ring cover and two bolts. Use a ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket to tighten the bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the proper specs. Insert two positioning pins and apply a new gasket to the outer gear reduction housing. Install the outer gear reduction cover. Thread four bolts into the cover. Use a ratchet with an eight millimeter hex and alternate tightening to evenly lower the cover. Use a torque wrench to remove the four threaded bolts. Insert the outer reduction cover bolts and use a ratchet with an eight millimeter hex to tighten. Remove the two positioning pins. Thread the remaining two 17 millimeter ring cover bolts. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the proper specs. Apply the outer pinion cover and a new seal. Thread the three bolts and tighten using a six millimeter hex. Use a torque wrench with a 6mm hex and tighten to the proper specs. 